Hey, and welcome back to Smoky Ribs. I'm going to be doing another product review today. What I've got is a Jamaican jerk seasoning made by Pirate Johnny's. If you're interested in this product or any of the other ones, just go to piratejohnnies.com and check them out. They sent me a lot of their seasonings to do some reviews on, and what I'm using today is the jerk seasoning. I'm doing a uh, jerk chicken, and I'm also making a guacamole with this Tampa Bay Key Lime Chili. This stuff smells incredible. I broke the seal on that last night to go ahead and make the marinade for the chicken. I'll be doing a chicken on the Kamado Joe. Now I'm doing this chicken in two halves. One half will be the jerk chicken. The other half, I'm simply just spicing it up with some fajita seasonings because this is the hot variety and I've got to make a mild version of some chicken for fajitas for uh, the, those that can't handle that much heat. Because not only did I follow the recipe on the back of the bottle, I also went ahead and added the real uh, scotch bonnet pepper to it so I know it's going to really have some fire to it but oh it's going to be good can't wait to dig into it so let's go ahead and get started with this and let me show you how it's done All right, at this point, you want to remove the backbone off the chicken. I'm taking a pair of kitchen shears, and I'm going up each side of this chicken and going to remove the backbone. This is also referred to in a lot of cases as a spatchcock chicken when you do this. I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to go up the other side as well. And while you have these shears out, it's a real good time to go ahead and remove any excess skin, any kind of flaps, any fat, anything that you don't want you know just hanging there and uh, it, it's really nothing to it just run it right up the backbone it will pop right off just like this you can save this freeze it later for a chicken stock all right now take a knife or in this case I'm using my cleaver make a little incision right at the breast where they meet pop it with your hands this will expose the kill bone the, the breast plate the breast bone and you can run your fingers and this just like I'm doing here this will expose the bone, it'll make a pop up, you can grab it and remove it, pop it right out, just like that. Now take a sharp knife, or in this case a cleaver, and you can separate the two halves very easy. Just slide it right down the middle, two halves. All right, now I'm only gonna marinate one half of this chicken in the Jamaican jerk seasoning. The other half tomorrow, I will season it up with a uh, fajita seasoning for the ones that don't want a lot of heat. All right, now I got a scotch bonnet. I'm gonna go ahead and chop this up. I'm gonna mince it up real fine. I'm gonna add it into the marinade. This is part of the traditional recipe. The recipe on the back of the bottle doesn't call for this and you don't have to use it, but I wanted to go a little bit more traditional, so therefore I'm using it. All right, now you want six tablespoons of this jerk seasoning. I'm going to put it in a separate little container here. Alright, now into a bigger bowl. Go ahead and add your seasoning. Add in your scotch bonnet that we just chopped up. Add in one third cup distilled white vinegar. Now add in one third cup soy sauce. Take a spoon and give this a good mix. Give it a good thorough mix. Alright, from here, I'm going to be taking a one gallon Ziploc bag with one half of this chicken. I'm going to pour the marinade over into the bag. I'm going to reserve some, a little bit, that I need to reserve for tomorrow that I can heat up, reduce down, and turn into a glaze to put onto the chicken right there at the end. Okay, this is the chicken half that I did not season. So I've got some chicken fajita seasoning. And that's all I'm going to do this side. I'm just going to apply some on each side, rub it in. Okay, I went ahead and laid the other half of this chicken over here. This is the one that I had marinating in this 
jerk seasoning all night. What I'm gonna do is I got some charcoal, some lump charcoal heating up over here behind me on another grill. I'm going to put these on the grill grates and put a real quick sear on each side before they go into the Kamado Joe. And at that point, I'll put them in the Kamado Joe. They will do more of a low and slow. I got it set around 250 to 260 degrees. And that's mainly to keep this meat juicy and moist. We don't want to cook them too fast and dry them out, which it's hard to dry out meat on a Kamado Joe anyway. We're going to be here a while with this cook. And I got some friends coming over. I went ahead and iced down some beer. I've got a variety of different beers here. This is made right here in Mississippi, Indian Summer by Lazy Magnolia. This is a Tommy Knocker pick x ipa this is made over in louisiana coventon bayou box and of course we had to have a jamaican beer a red stripe this is for my wife this is a cayman jack margarita i've got corona i've got samuel adams hopology latitude 48 ipa and i think i'm gonna crack it that one open right now that one sounds good all right all right we're gonna go skin side down on these grill grates Go a couple minutes on each side, get a good quick sear on these, then into the Kamado. Go ahead and flip these over. Beautiful. Okay, there's both our halves there. There's the one with the jerk seasoning, this is the one with the fajita seasoning. I've got apple wood that I'm using for smoke wood. It's not traditional, but it's all I've got. Anyone that knows anything about traditional Jamaican jerk chicken would also know that the smoking wood needs to be from the pimento tree. And little did I know that you can actually order that online. I found a website yesterday and they sell the chunks. They sell planks to plank it with. They sell uh, the flakes and the uh, shavings. So I'm, I'm going to order some for future use because I've got quite a bit of the seasoning left over. I can do some Jamaican jerk pork chops, some shrimp, more chicken, whatever. All right, I've got a lot of cutting up to do. First thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and make this guacamole. That way I can get it in the fridge. All right, now the first thing we're gonna start with are these avocados. I'm gonna use three of them. Now I need to dice up one tomatillo. You gotta remove this outer skin similar to what you would do on an onion. And I'm simply just gonna dice it up into small bite-sized pieces. All right, I'm gonna take my diced tomatillo. Gonna add it to the avocado. All right, now we're going to chop up one red tomato. And just so you know, this recipe also comes from Pirate Johnny's website. Now that is a ripe tomato. I got these over at the produce stand right here. This is all locally grown produce. Beautiful. Look how red that is. That's what I like. Full of flavor. I'm just going to give these a dice and add them to the guacamole. Okay, in with the tomato. I've got three cloves of garlic. It calls for one tablespoon of garlic, so I think we're going to be fairly close with this right here. We're just going to chop this up, give it a mince, and add that in. All right, now in with the garlic. Alright, I'm going to add in some kosher salt. This is pretty much the taste, probably somewhere around a half of a teaspoon. Some black pepper to taste. Alright, now i got the Pirate Johnny's Tampa Bay Key Lime Chili. Let me smell this. Oh, heck yeah. This calls for anywhere from two to three teaspoons. Let me put it in my hand first. I can judge better that way. It's about a teaspoon. We'll go with that right there. Plenty left. Look at that. 
All right, all you want to do at this point is simply mix it all up and you want to mash these avocados. These avocados, like I said, are a little riper than what I like. But that's all I had to pick from. That's one thing bad about living in South Mississippi. You really, sometimes you can hit it good. You can get some good looking avocados and other times not so good. But I think we're gonna turn out good never, nevertheless. All right, I'm gonna mix this up good. We're gonna take it inside and we're gonna refrigerate. I'm gonna lay some foil right down on top of this to keep any air from oxidizing this and browning it any further. Okay, it's starting to rain. Wouldn't you just know it? I went ahead and pulled this Kamado up to the garage here so I'm out of the rain and uh, hopefully it won't last long. Go ahead, take a peek at this. It's been going about 30, 40 minutes. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. All right, we still got a ways to go on this. I want to do a shout out for a channel that I just found here about a week or so ago. She's also a Taste Made partner and the channel name is Alice Yummy Food. I tell you what, man, deliciousness. She does a lot of Russian and Eastern European dishes and I went through there looking at her videos. I'm like, wow, 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 I I'm going to try this. I've actually had some Russian food in the past. I knew a man here in America that married a Russian woman and she made all kind of things just delicious. So go over there and check her out. Just click this banner right here in front of you. It'll take you straight to her channel. Look it over. See what you think. Give her a subscribe. All right, we'll be back. Okay, this rain has forced me to use this little bitty table on this Kamado Joe right here with this cutting board. I've got to cut up some vegetables. I've got bell pepper, tomato, and onion. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this up in strips for the fajitas. Normally, I would use a fajita seasoning to, to uh, season this with. But in this case, being jerk chicken, which has all types of good seasoning already in it, I don't want to make it have a contrast in flavors and work against each other. So simple salt and pepper with these as I saute them in hot oil. I'm going to go ahead and take care of this. I'll meet you back at the cast iron skillet on the grill when I start sauteing. All right, this is the other part of the marinade that I reserved last night. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to simmer this down ever so slowly. going to reduce it and make a glaze out of it. This will be the final thing that goes on this jerk chicken. This is thickened up real nice. I'm going to go ahead and set this off to the side so it can keep it warm. All right, this chicken is ready. That breast is at the right temperature. The thighs are at the right temperature. I'm at about 167 on the breast. I'm about, uh, I was right at 180 on the thigh and there's just all kind of juice pouring out of these. They're not dry at all. I'm gonna put this base right here on top of this jerk chicken only. This is gonna be some concentrated hot stuff, guaranteed. I'm just gonna mop that on there the best I can. We're gonna let it hang out another minute or two inside this Kamado. Let that start running some on this chicken skin. And after that, we're gonna call it done. Oh, it smells insane. Here's the bell pepper and the onion that I cut up earlier. We're gonna go ahead and throw this in. Let it begin to saute. I've got some grapeseed oil that I'm sauteing these in. Grapeseed oil will not carry any flavor of its own. It's a perfect oil to saute anything in if you don't want to add any other flavor. Olive oil is great. I love olive oil, but it does have a flavor of its own. And I'm not wanting that particular flavor for this. So we're going to salt. We're going to add some black pepper. All right, I'm going to let this saute for about five minutes. Then we're going to add the tomatoes in. All right, we're starting to get tender on these onions and peppers. They've been going about five or six minutes. I'm going to go ahead and dump these tomatoes in that I also cut up earlier. This is two whole tomatoes. I end up grabbing another one. All right, we're going to let this go about two or three minutes. Then we're going to put it over here on indirect heat just to keep it warm until I get these tortillas done. I've got about 20 tortillas to do. That should feed everyone. All right, just going to heat them on both sides. 
I got some aluminum foil over here that I'm putting them in as they heat up to keep them warm. We're just about ready to eat. Okay, we're ready. I'm gonna go ahead and carve a little bit off to make a fajita just to check it out. I like dark meat. I'm gonna take some of this, some of this uh, thigh meat myself for mine. Oh man, look at that. That is so tender. So juicy. Let's get a little bit of this leg here. And I think I will take a little bit of the breast meat. Look at that. That thing is so juicy. Look at it squishing out everywhere. All right, first thing, we're going to add some of this meat. All right, I'm going to add some of these peppers, onions, and tomatoes. Just like that. All right, last but not least, some of this guacamole. All right, let's give this a taste test. Smells delicious, looks delicious. Let's try it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> That's good, people. Oh, hell yeah. Until next time, smoke the ribs. <laughs>